You won't believe this, the new plan focused around the low income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I do wanna share with you the details of a new plan I recently came across specifically focused around the low income. I've never seen anything like this, but it is circling around out there right now and it may be coming across the entire country at some point sooner than later. So let's get into it and talk through all the details. However, really quickly before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're enjoying this video so far and you want more like it, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm here for you right by your side each and every day, watching all the latest information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay posted on what's actually going on and how it may impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, anything popping up right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of during this very busy, confusing, and uncertain time that we're currently living through. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your support. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about this new plan that is honestly brand new to me. I've never heard of such a thing, but again, this is out there right now and they are talking about it. So let me bring this to your attention because this seems kind of weird but at the same time, kind of interesting at the same time. So let's talk through the details about this. First off, let me ask you this much. Let's say that you go to your doctor, you sit down with your doctor, they write you a prescription for maybe blood pressure medication. And then they say, hey, wait, do you need a prescription for housing? And he pulls out a little pad and he writes a prescription for housing. Yeah, <laughs> have you heard about this before? Seriously, this is a real thing, okay? So what they're talking about now is doctors having the ability to write a prescription for housing for the low income. So like literally they write out a prescription and say, here you go, here's some housing for you. <laughs> seriously? I mean, seriously, this is, not a, this is not a joke. This is a real thing that is out there right now. Let me tell you more of the details about this and what is going on here and where this is actually coming from. So the governor of the state of California is working directly with the Biden administration right now on this exact thing. Let me tell you some statistics really quickly. Now, this is obviously the governor of California, but this is something that's gaining traction across the entire country, okay? So maybe this is something that starts in California, but they're trying to implement this across the entire United States. Let me tell you some statistics about this just in the state of California, because these are the people that are actually trying to implement this immediately. And then again, they wanna roll it out across the entire country. All right, so just in the state of California, they said that California alone counts for, uh, accounts for 30% of homeless people in the United States and California has 12% of our population. Now, this would not strictly be dedicated to just homeless people, but rather they're talking about low-income individuals who would be eligible for this. Now, does this mean that you could go to your doctor, they could write out a prescription for a house and then you would automatically get it? Not necessarily, but again, basically what it would be doing is like all the other programs that are out there, there's essentially a waiting list. And basically the people with the greatest need would have the highest priority of being pushed to the top of the list of getting housing. So again, let me know if I've been living under a rock all these years and this is something that I've never, uh, that I should have heard of years ago. But honestly, I just came across this and I thought, this is super interesting. I've never heard of a prescription for housing. And that is what they're talking about here. Okay. So let me tell you more details about this. This would be transitory housing, okay? So essentially what that means, I know, kind of a weird word, what does that mean? We've heard about it a little bit here over the last couple of years where we've heard people coming out saying, oh, inflation is transitory. In other words, short term, okay? That's basically just a fancy word of saying short term. Here's what it means though. The whole idea behind this would be basically be giving low income individuals who are in basically need of housing, like immediately transitory housing, as in six month leases, to basically get this person into some housing until we can get some other steps figured out. And it would essentially put these low-income individuals into a house for six months. And then basically, I'm not really sure what happens after that. Honestly, I've been looking into this, doing some research on this. I'm not really sure what happens after the six month time frame. Do they just kick you out and say, well, you're on your own now? I'm not sure. That's a really good question. I don't have an answer to that right now. I'm gonna continue digging into this further and see if I can find some more information about this. But these are the details that I have as of right now, okay? I don't know, to me it seems interesting, but here's another thing about it. 
So as of right now, we know that there's a lot of details as far as different things that are ending, as in a lot of these programs that have been implemented here over the last few years. Some of the different provisions have been ending here, but here's what they want to do. They want Medicaid to pay for this, okay? So let me tell you more details about this. So as we know, as of right now, now again, as we anticipate, there's going to be about 15 or so million people that may be losing Medicaid coverages. But as of right now, there's around 100 million people enrolled in Medicaid, right? So Medicaid is obviously a federally funded program that offers health care to lower income individuals and of course other coverages as well. But here's what they're trying to say. And this is what uh, the governor of California is trying to make the, you know, the negotiations with the federal government as in the Biden administration. Here's what they're talking about. They're essentially saying that Medicaid should be covering this as in Medicaid should be covering housing for lower income individuals because basically what they're saying is that in the event that somebody does not have proper housing, we find that they end up in the doctor's office more, they they end up in the emergency room more, they get more prescriptions and things like this. So at the end of the day, if somebody has proper housing, they're gonna be better off as in they won't need as much medical attention through doctor visits and emergency rooms and stuff like this, urgent care, all these things like this. So they're essentially saying, if we can just solve the problem before it even starts in the first place, as in getting these people in proper housing, we could have Medicaid coverage this because it would actually be a healthcare expense. Kind of get what I'm saying? So like more of like a preventative care type of situation as in writing a prescription for a house, okay? <laughs> I don't know, See, so still sounds kind of weird when I say that, right? Because I just every time I think of that, I picture sitting there in that little tiny room, the white room with the doctor. They're sitting there for like the three seconds they're in the room with you. And they pull out their little pad, they scribble something down that nobody can read other than the people in the pharmacy, and then they hand it to you and they're like, here, take this twice a day. You know what I mean? Something like that. And you're like, wait, you look at the thing, you're like, I have no clue what this even says. It's like three scribbles on a page and you're like, this is supposed to say something? And then sure enough, you bring it to your pharmacy and you walk out with a little bottle 10 minutes later. You're like, oh, <laughs> it must be a little code. Well, it is actually a code. Believe it or not, I actually worked in a pharmacy for about three years and all of it is code. So it is a code, right? I didn't know that until I worked in the pharmacy and I thought, oh, this is actually pretty interesting. It's all just a big code. It all has a little meaning behind it. So anyway, <laughs> quick side note about me and my little previous life there. But yes, that is something that I did years and years ago. Actually, it was about uh, 15 years ago that I worked in a pharmacy for a few years, about three years. Anyway, kind of interesting stuff. But this is what they're talking about. And like I said, the state of California and the governor of California is the one who is working through the details about this. But as I dig into this further, it sounds like this is something that they would want to roll out strictly in California to start, but then shortly thereafter, rolling it out across the entire country. Now, what is the likelihood of something like this happening? I'm going to be real with you right now. I don't know. Okay, I'm just being real with you. I honestly do not know the likelihood of something like this happening. Maybe. Um, I'm not going to put it past them. For the most part, I'm not going to say that it's not going to happen. But at the same time, I don't really know if this is something that's totally realistic. Maybe like some parameters of this, maybe, you know, some function of this will actually happen. But I'm not sure if that's really how it's going to work. You're going to walk into your doctor and say, hey, yo, doc, <sighs> feeling down these days. I need a two bedroom, three bath house. Can you hook me up? And he writes a prescription for it. <laughs> That'd be awesome, right? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Hey doc, I, I'm in need of a vacation. Can can you hook me up with, you know, I don't know, vacation to some Caribbean island? Pretty nice. I, I don't think that's gonna fly, <laughs> you know what I mean? But maybe the housing thing actually will, okay? Now generally, when I come back in videos like this, when I talk about social security and SSDI and SSI and stimulus and checks and monthly checks and all kinds of things like this, generally, I can give you a pretty good idea of things that'll have a very high likelihood of happening and things that have maybe a medium uh, ability of happening and things that have like no chance of happening. But when it comes down to this one, honestly, I have no clue. I don't know if this has even any type of ground to stand on or if this is just something that they're trying to work on and say, hey, we'll take whatever we can get. I'm just honestly not sure. This is brand new to me, literally just came across it and I wanted to share it with you. So. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like the idea? It's certainly kind of something kind of interesting and kind of fun to play around with, um, you know, as far as the idea of something like this happening. But what's, is it realistic? That's another thing we need to look at, right? So 
Anyway, I'll keep you posted as I get more details, but this is the latest, greatest idea that's floating around out there. And as I get more information, of course, I'll be right here for you. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share your information, sorry, not your information, your thoughts, your feedback, and your questions down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm just very curious to hear what you have to say about this. And uh, if you think it's kind of cool, if you think it's a joke, I mean, if you think it's just ridiculous, if you think it's a great idea, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everybody's open to their own opinions here. And it looks like um, the governor of California is going for a flyer on this one and uh, kind of going out there and seeing what they can get on this. Either way, I'll keep you posted. Uh, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care and catch you again later in the next video.